When I was eight years old, I was left at an Air Force base in the middle of Zimbabwe with my best friend, Mercy Shumba. We waited alone for hours in the heat, but we didn't mind. Mercy and I did everything together. We'd known each other since nursery school. And this was a day we'd been waiting for all our lives. I remember that day so well. We were so excited. Comrade Robert Mugabe was coming to our city and we were the ones who were chosen to greet him. For us, it was like meeting a movie star. He was absolutely our hero at that time. For the Mugabe regime, Mercy and I were poster children, a symbol that all was well in the new Zimbabwe. But it wasn't. Even then, Mercy's relatives were being rounded up and killed by Mugabe's now infamous Five Brigade. Our hero, Mugabe, the great liberator, was destroying his own country. Mercy's family were moved to a shanty town. I came to live in New Zealand, half a world away. My whiteness made it easier for me to leave. I don't know if Mercy is dead or alive. Some of our friends have been tortured or killed. And that guy there, he had his hands cut off last year for playing protest songs on his guitar. And I've known him since I was a baby. Zimbabwe is gradually breaking down. Cholera is spreading from the cities as more and more people are forced to use untreated water. My own daughter is now four, the age Mercy and I were when we met. Watching her play with her friends makes me wonder every day what happened to Mercy. <laughs> I need to know what happened to her. And I also need to know what happened to the great new Zimbabwe that we believed in, that we thought we represented. I've watched Zimbabwe unravel from the other side of the world. Mercy didn't have that choice. The struggle in our country is not black versus white, it's Mugabe against the people. I'm going back to Zimbabwe. I'm going back to find mercy.